If you've ever used Google to help you find new technology solutions, then you know how every one you find, from every vendor you look at, seems like the answer to all your problems. But I don't understand, clients tell me with some regularity. I go to a conference, I tell the exhibitors what I'm trying to do, and they all say they can do it. But, but how can they? They sell different things. This one sells content management. That one sells records management. This other one sells some sort of an intelligence application. How can they all meet my needs when they do such different sounding things? Now the answer is simpler than you might imagine. The bottom line is that each of these different technologies feature capabilities that can help your situation. The particulars may vary from one to another, but in the right hands, they all can work. It's sort of like how you can cook food in different kinds of ovens. Convection, steam, microwave, Dutch, easy bake. They'll all work, but some will be better than others and will perform better in your particular context. For you see, it's the context that makes all the difference. It's not just what you're trying to do, but why and for whom. And if you can't answer these questions, then it doesn't really matter what you buy or who you buy it from. You're just not going to get the most value out of it that you could have. Which is why so many people I ask, that old initiative of yours, how'd it go? They tell me, eh, it didn't go so well. So we had to give it up, or we're sucking it up, or we're looking to change it up. The fact of the matter is the technology probably worked just fine, but because they didn't truly understand or articulate their context, it never directly addressed the issues at hand. So, how do you keep this from happening to you? Big surprise, I have some thoughts about that. The first is to keep this very simple question in mind. What business problem are you trying to solve? Now I've said this before, and I'll probably keep saying it till well beyond the end of my career, but after 20 plus years of plying this trade, I can honestly tell you it's the single most important question you can ask, and the way you answer it will inform everything, and I mean everything, that you do. Which solution you buy or build, who you buy it from, how you implement it, how you manage it, how you train your people to use it, how you justify its acquisition both before and after you buy it. The list goes on. The other thought I want to share with you is to map your situation to a model I built years ago that has proven invaluable to people trying to sort through their options. Or of course you can have me help you with it, that's part of what I'm here for, but that's not the point of, of today's conversation. I call this the context model of value delivery. Ta-da! I know the image here is a bit small, but let me walk you through it, and if you want to know more, just ping me afterwards, and I can break it down further for you. It starts with the typical consultant analyst quadrant chart, or grid as I like to call it. Here I've labeled the axes in terms of the nature of the purpose of the application we're looking at, collaborate at the top and control at the bottom and the character of the processes involved. Automate to the left and interact to the right. Next, we deploy our other favorite market mapping tool, the Venn diagram, in which we divvy the world up into overlapping spheres of influence. Here, I've broadly grouped the kinds of services required of our technology stacks into these three categories. Starting at the bottom and working our way clockwise, that's clockwise as you look at it, counter to me backwards here. We have information services, which encompasses all of our favorite governance related features and functions. We have delivery services, which are used to distribute information to the people who use it. And we have intelligence services, which is where analytics and insights fit in. Now the magic occurs when you overlay these circles onto the grid we just saw, because Lo and behold, they line up. This allows us to do something unique and powerful, namely to relate the different technologies we opened with 
to one another in terms of their functional sweet spots, and thus to your specific context. Assuming, of course, you know what that context is. So that brings us to the last task in this little homily, which is to replace the technologies listed here with your potential vendors and others, plot your points of context on the graph, and then see who's closest to you. Theoretically, anyway, these would be your most likely candidates for consideration. Now, there are always exceptions, of course, but this little exercise is a great way to help frame your initial thinking. For as we know, the choices are overwhelming, both in number and in capability, and it's enormously valuable to have a lens through which to view them in your context. There's that word again. Can't help it. Context. It's the key to getting maximum total value, not only from your information technology, but from your information itself. And that, my friends, is what it's all about. I'm Steve Weissman, and that's my perspective check for today. See you next time.